But folks, I hope you're enjoying the show so far. We're here at our Sand Bay weekend in Somerset. It's going absolutely brilliant. Our third year back. And I'm joined now by the lovely Sarah Jury, who's really, really become part of our show in a big way. I'm sorry about that. I really am. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're delighted, Sarah. I'll tell you what, it's fantastic. Anytime you take the stage, especially when you do your own spots as well, you just have people enthralled, I've got to say. It's been an absolutely brilliant weekend, it really has. I mean, uh, working with Ryan Turner and the band and, and just all the artists and, and the, the vibe of the people. and It's just been brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I'm totally in my element. And I'll be honest, I mean, you, you know, I'm not going to bore people at home, but it has been a tough year for me, you know, health-wise and everything. And, you know, but I really do feel that there's light at the end of the tunnel now. And what I'm doing here, on stage playing, you know, backing up all the other artists. It, 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 it's, it's my true vocation, definitely, and I, I just love it. And if, if people respond to that, then that's the icing on top of the cake, definitely. Well, Sarah, that means a lot to us, and we're so delighted that you, you've become part of it, honest to God, it's really... You're not gonna get rid of me now. <laughs> we don't want to, trust me, trust me. And you've had such a fantastic career. Since, what age were you when you actually started to play? Uh, piano at three and a half and then um, Hawaiian Steel at five, totally by accident, because it was the only thing in the music shop that was small enough for me to get hold of. And my mum and dad always played country music at home. Jim Reeves, Patsy Cline, Hank Williams. And even at that age, I could hear what the musicians were playing on the albums, and I could sit there, and I mean, it was dreadful what I played. I've got recordings of it. How my daddy put up with it, I do not know. But I'd sit there and, in my own way, kind of imitate what I was hearing. And I just got bitten by the bug, joined a band when I was nine years old, and I've been gigging ever since. I actually did my first gig with Raymond Froggett, and he came and sat on my stool. I was 11 years of age, yeah. And I was really disappointed tonight, because Abe said to me when he came up, he said, where have you been? I said, I've been sat watching you. He said, oh, he said, I wish the frog knew. He said he wanted to get you up and get you to play with him, which would have been great, you know. But there'll be next time. There will, and there'll be lots more. And of course, Raymond does all our shows as well. So yeah. definitely the next time, Sarah, definitely. we'll make it happen. Yes. Definitely. So Sarah, listen, I won't hold you, because I know you're probably heading back on stage in a while. Yeah. And that's, you're off. Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, never mind. I won't hold you anyway, because okay. there's people waiting to meet you and stuff. But thank you for coming to have a chat with us. Thanks for being part of the shows and you're just fantastic. It's my absolute pleasure, it really is. I genuinely mean that. It's just, it, it's given me a whole new lease of life and, and I just can't wait for the next one now. <laughs> I'll be having withdrawal symptoms. <laughs> Sarah, thank you very much indeed. Thank Sarah Jury, ladies and gentlemen.